Zapier is truly one of the best AI automation platforms that lets you easily connect apps, automate workflows, boost productivity without writing a single line of code. And it truly has everything from AI workflows all the way to AI agents, to chatbots, tables, interfaces. You can practically automate it all for support for over 8,000 apps. And I'm not the only one making videos on Zapier. There's so many people on YouTube making these videos because there's a true demand for it as it can automate almost anything for you. And it can truly help you in so many fronts from customer support all the way to marketing campaigns to simply just helping you out with code. It's able to automate all of these processes. But here's the catch. There's a huge learning curve with thousands of apps and integrations, countless of triggers, actions, and filters. There's a sheer number of options and it is something that can feel overwhelming, especially for a beginner. But that is why Zapier has created their very own Zapier MCP. MCP stands for Model Context Protocol, which is something that you might have heard about. And it was created by Anthropic, tailored to connect AI assistants to different sorts of integrations and data sources. And essentially, the MCP turns Zapier into a fully AI controllable platform. Instead of manually setting up Zaps, your AI assistant like Cursor, which is something I'll talk about in a bit, or Klein can now directly talk to Zapier and trigger real actions. This is where it can set up all the Zaps, like sending out emails and create all of these automation workflows with a single prompt with the help of the AI agent. And it's something that will help you automate any sort of build and practically have it so that your whole life would be so much more easier with these automations built with the MCP. And after the AI coding assistant has the MCP, it's gonna be able to autonomously set up everything with a natural language prompt that you can send in. Now, in my case, I'm gonna be using Cursor because I believe it's the best for this particular use case, but you can also use Klein. And you can easily get started with Cursor completely for free as well as with Zapier. So this whole workflow or this whole process will be completely free to get started with. So now that all of that is out of the way, I'm going to be showcasing how you can set up the Zapier MCP with a coding assistant like Cursor. So to get started, go ahead and create an account with Zapier, which is something that I'll leave a link to in the description below. And then go ahead and install Cursor locally. You can also use Klein, but for this particular use case, I'm going to be showcasing how to use it with Cursor. After you have created an account with Zapier, as well as installed your AI coding assistant, you're going to be then sent over to this dashboard for Zapier. And this is essentially where you're going to be able to create your MCP server. So click on this button over here. And what you want to do first is select an MCP client. This is where you have a lot of options that you can use. But in our case, we're going to be using cursor. And you want to go ahead and create the MCP server for this. After created, you can then configure the tools you want the MCP server to access. This is where you have the ability to access over 8,000 plus apps. And to add these tools, it's actually fairly easy. Just click on the tool that you want to add and select all the specific tools that you want to add. Now, in this case, for the Gmail tool itself, I had clicked on adding all the Gmail tools and then I had added the Gmail tools to the configuration. Now, in the same manner, you can do this with all of these other apps. Now, here are a couple of tools that I recommend adding. You can add Postgres SQL to manage your database. You can also add something like webhooks. And essentially with webhooks, it is a way for you to send automated messages or information to other apps. So I highly recommend that you add this in. Another one is Web Parser by Zapier. This is essentially for people who scrape contents off of web pages. You can add this tool to your configuration list. And after you configure all the tools you want your MCP server to use, you can then go over to connect. Now, before I even get to that, within the history tab, you're going to be able to manage all the recent tools that your MCP server used. But now going back into connect, this is where you can easily configure the Zapier MCP within our coding assistant, which is cursor. And to do so, you can either copy the contents straight into your JSON file, or you can simply go ahead and add it to cursor by clicking on this button, which is gonna make the whole process super easy to do so. And you can see right away, I have it so that it's gonna then install the MCP server. After reviewing the URL, I can then click on install. And then after installed, it's gonna load up all the tools that I had enabled within the first section within this configuration tab. And you can see 
there is 13 tools that it has added already and it lists out all the tools that i've added now remember that api that you saw is something that you should keep secret i'm going to be rotating it afterwards but make sure you do not share this around otherwise if someone gets access to this they can use up all the usage of your mcp account Next, close everything and then go back into cursor. And what you wanna do is you wanna use the command I or the control I feature if you're on Windows. And this will open up the composer agent. This is essentially where you can now work with the AI assistant to create your Zap using the Zapier MCP. So rather than manually creating our Zap automation within Zapier with this drag and drop interface, I can simply describe what I wanna build within cursor using the AI assistant, as well as having it connected to our MCP. So I can say that I want to create an AI automation that reads incoming receipts or invoices from Gmail, extract the data, amount, the date, the vendor, and the logs, and then I'll put it into a Google Sheet or Notion. Use the Zapier MCP. Now I can simply go ahead and paste this in, and now it's going to work on creating this automation autonomously without me doing anything. And just like that, based off of this invoice that was sent to my Gmail, it was able to process it using the MCP tool, and it was able to parse this random invoice that was sent to my Gmail. And in this case, you can see that it was able to log the name of the person who sent the email, the date, the amount, as well as the source. And it was able to output it as a TXT file, which is something that I requested it to do afterwards. Here is another example. This is where I can automate the process of sending out an email based off the work that I have within my directory. In this case, I'm requesting it to do research on my channel. In this case, it did it pretty quickly, and it's gonna be able to then send a copy of this log, which has been saved locally. And you can see right now, it is calling the Gmail send uh, tool which is the Zapier MCP, and I should get an email within a couple of seconds. And there we go. We have now gotten the email on the memo of what the world of AI channel is, thanks to this MCP server that was creating this whole automation for us. If you like this video and would love to support the channel, you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Or you can consider joining our private Discord where you can access multiple subscriptions to different AI tools for free on a monthly basis, plus daily AI news and exclusive content, plus a lot more. So think about it. Rather than manually working on these apps by dragging and dropping these different components that you might have a hard time configuring all on your own, you can use something like Cursor to help you process all of these tools and create the connection as well as automating the process within a couple of seconds based off the natural language prompt you sent in. Now guys, I just did a pretty basic example to work with Gmail. You have so many other things that you can use and this is why I highly recommend that you take a look at these different tool sets that you can configure and power your AI agent with so that you can automate almost anything. But that's practically it for today's video on Zapier MCP powered with cursor. I highly recommend that you take a look at this as it's possible to automate almost anything and it's super easy to do so, which is gonna make your life super easy. But with that thought guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video and got some sort of value out of it. I'll leave a link to all these things that I use in today's video in the description below. Make sure you subscribe to the second channel, join our newsletter as well as our Discord, Follow me on Twitter as well as subscribe to the YouTube channel by turning on the notification bell, liking this video, and please take a look at our previous videos because there's a lot of content that you will truly benefit from. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day. Spare positivity, and I'll see you guys really shortly. Peace out, fellas.